We long to see the soul, to see the new reborn. We long for Christmas morn. The sands of time run slow. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. My dear friends, for the past four weeks, we have been on our Advent journey, praying and preparing for Christmas. And truly, our journey and efforts, this period of Advent, have not been in vain. God has been preparing for us a marvelous thing. And I tell you, God is going to do a new thing in your life, in our lives as a people, as a church, in our country, God is doing a new thing. This whole Advent period is leading us into this great, beautiful, and amazing life in God. This is the promise of God. And we must activate our faith to claim it and to receive all these blessings of God. In spite of all we've been through, especially during this year of pandemic, the lockdown, the economic crunch, God is still preparing a banquet of great, beautiful things, of a great future, of amazing grace as we enter into the Christmas season. In the first reading of today from 2 Samuel chapter 7 and following, David, after his many travels, and battles with his enemies, wanted to build a house for God. But God already had a plan for David, and even beyond David, for his offsprings. He was planning to do something for God, but God had a plan beyond the imagination of David to establish his throne forever and to make his kingdom sure. This is the kind of God that we serve. A God who is always thinking ahead. A God who is always planning beautiful things for his children, preparing for us a great future. And all we need to do to be part of this future is to make God our priority, to put God as part of our plans, and the rest is sorted. In Luke chapter 1, 26 to 38, which is the gospel reading of today, the promise of God to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the promise of new and great things, which God gave the Blessed Virgin Mary is also what we are preparing for as we enter into this last week for Christmas. Listen to the words of the angel to Mary. The angel said, of course, speaking the message of God, said, do not be afraid. The angel said, you have found favor with God. The angel also said, you will bear a son and he will be great and he will be called the son of the most high. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will have no end. He also said, for with God, all things are possible. These are great and consoling word of God. And we are also called to participate in this consolation, in this joy. So dear friends in Christ, let us go into this festivity of Christmas with great assurance that these blessings of God brought about by the birth of Christ, our Lord, our King, is ours. The only thing we are asked to do is to put God in our plans, to put God first, and we shall experience the great manifestation of divine grace in our lives. Remember this, dear friends, God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Remain blessed. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, Savior, dear to me. Oh, come.